when I was doing my own research, I found a very interesting GitHub repo which has piece of code how to build a InfoStealer malware. I kind of interested that and I wanted to build that exact same malware. I did that based on the guideline which has provided on that GitHub repo. So this is how it's simple architecture. This is how it's working. We'll go through one by one and see how this is working and what is the impact for us that kind of malware. Basically, the attacker will set up a Discord server and once he set up the Discord server, he can create few channels. Here, as you can see, I have created a channel called General and once created that Discord server, we can go to the server settings and we can create a Discord webhook, which is free. We can create a Discord webhook attaching that specific channel in the Discord server and that webhook URL which was created under the integration section can use to embed inside that executable file to gather the data. What happened here is attacker is building that malware embedding that Discord server webhook URL to gain the data, to get the data from the victim computer. Once attacker built the executable file, he will transfer it to the victim computer somehow, maybe social engineering or using phishing attack or another way, somehow it will transfer to the victim computer and the victim will execute that executable file without knowing anything. Once he execute that file, that info stealer malware can gain, can gather all of your saved credentials inside your web browsers. Doesn't matter whether it's Google Chrome, Firefox, Brave or Edge, doesn't matter which browser, it is getting all the details inside that browser. It contains login details, contain browser history, also, it contain the um, download folder details, which means what are inside the download folder, like executable or folders or files, all those names. Also, we can get through that. This is very smart tactic because for the Discord server to the attacker, he don't want to use a public IP or virtual private server to gain those details. He can simply run this Discord server inside a virtual box or virtual machine and he can gain all of the details over the internet. That is the um, dangerous part because everyone can simply do this. This is a proof of concept. I'm not going you to provide a GitHub repo or any piece of that code because um, it is dangerous and uh, these are publicly available details. I'm just doing this as a proof of concept to your safety. What safety measurement you should take when you use in the browser, especially with the card numbers or your credentials and all those stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. I will minimize this and I have set up two VMs. One is Flare VM. Inside that I have set up my Discord server. So in my Flare VM, I'm going to use this as my attacker. And here I have created a victim, another virtual machine. And I built my info stealer exe file and already copied to my victim PC. I'm not going to cover that part because uh, it will take long time and it, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I can show you how you can create the webhook when you go to the server settings go to the integration and go to the webhook you can create a new webhook if you want here or else i have created a webhook and i have added general channel here you can add any channel if you want because once the executable execute inside the victim computer it will pull out all the data in your browsers and send it to this specific channel including everything 
that is why we need to select a channel here once you do that we can do the um, executable building process and we can translate to the victim computer and we can see how it's work what i'm going to do here is i am acting as a victim now and i'm going to double click this executable and execute this file and once i executed that it will all my browser data into this specific channel you can see it will take like few seconds and it will get every details also for the demonstration purpose i have created few browser history here i browse some websites and URLs and also I have saved a password here to show you how this is happen actually I have saved a um, fake email and the fake password here this info still malware will take everything inside this browser and send it to this discord server We'll see how it works. So now I'm going to execute this. One, two, three, execute. I just double click that. It will take little time. We have to be patient. We'll give us all the details into our this general space in our Discord server. We just have to wait and see. If you want to see the process, you can simply go to the task manager and see. Yes, as you can see, we got all the details. That's it. That's it. There's a zip file which contain download, loggings, and everything. Also, it has got my Discord details because I have installed the Discord inside the victim PC as well. Later on, it will send all the public IP and machine details as well see as you can see also it has sent the screenshot which is which is cool right see my public ip and country and my disk space what is the um processor everything everything in here we'll go to the that zip file and download that i have downloaded that zip file and this is that zip file i'm going to extract it here I'm extracting my zip file. We'll see what's inside the download.txt. It is showing inside that download folder, it has Python installer. Also, there's a zip and there's another executable, which is Proton VPN and Discord exe and everything inside the um, download folder on my victim vm victim pc also there's a login.txt login.txt file we'll open that and see here is my saved password inside my victim pc which means my google chrome browser i believe this will pick only the default browser credentials i'm not sure with that but it will pick everything as you can see this is my fake email which I have saved to this website. I don't know what it is, but, and this is the password. This is the important part. This is the dangerous part. If you save your, any of the credentials inside your browser, these kind of info stealer malwares can easily pick them up like this. Also, let's see what's in there. Oh, it has web history, my total web history in here, which website I have served so far. So everything in there. Kind of cool, right? Apart from that, there is a screenshot of my victim PC. Cool. What we have to learn from this? The lesson we have to learn I think there are two main lessons. First thing is we shouldn't save any credit card details, any usernames or password inside the browser. Doesn't matter which browser it is. Do not save your credentials or address or any personal information, anything inside your browsers. If you really forget your password, please, please, please use a password manager for that. And the second thing is, 
do not execute the strange executable file which you are getting through email or from stranger even with your colleague without confirming what it is i know it's really hard but do not execute that sort of executable files especially if downloading some softwares from online uh, untrusted sources especially do not execute those files because those files can send the details to attackers by compromising all of your privacy all of your data this is a very small proof of concept and we can learn a lot of things through this i hope you learn something from this video if you have any questions anything please leave a comment in the comment section also you can browse my blog as well as you can join to the discord server you can discuss more things inside that we'll catch up with the next video thank you guys